I'm here at Legacy Thrift in Crystal, Minnesota. I love coming here. I'm here with the early birds on a Saturday. So let's see what we can find. Here we go. This is adorable. It's a pin cushion, but also like a little trinket box. Just resin. Super adorable for 69 cents. I love that. Funny, I just bought an apple like this when I was out thrifting with Kate. Funny. Maybe I should get it. I'll have a pair. The one I got has a gold leaf on it. Ugh. What is this? What is this for? What does he hold? Hmm. He's so cute. I don't know. I just bought some little stacker things like that um, from a Goodwill. Also that time I was out with Kate because um, I thought they would be work well on my shelves at the Pink Elephant where I sell things, resell things. Says, I've sold one of these before. Mine, the one I sold was um, particular to moms. This is cute though. It did take a long time though to sell and I think I only sold it for like five dollars. So. And it's not something I collect. So I'll leave her behind. That has a sharp spot on it. Otherwise it's cute. What's this? This is pretty. Just a little decorative thing. I like that. It's pretty. Oh. A tea set. Adorable. It's not all the same, it doesn't look like. No, it's got like some that have teddy bears and some that have flowers. Lots of goodies. These are gold. Those are cool. Oh, a salt cellar. Someone sent me a blue one. I adore it. It's kind of cool. They are usually chipped on the corners, and this one is. Just because, um, you know, these are set out on the table for each individual place setting. And just that motion of, like, setting them on down on a table, I think, makes them get chipped. It's pretty. In my haul later, you'll hear me mentioning that I wish I had three apples. There's another one right there. I cannot believe I didn't see it. I just didn't see that apple. Oh boy. Well, oh well. Alas, didn't see it till now when I'm editing. <laughs> I like this string art. That's fun. It's not old. Looks very new actually, but fun. Looks like someone donated their collection of these. I bought one or two a little while back. I haven't tried to sell them yet. They're still in my garage, to be honest. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know what it's for. You think it's for like a votive? Be nice on that little tiered tray if you. If those were your spring colors. Jesus, it's a Christmas thing. Okay. It's a Christmas scene. Neat. Probably from like a ceramics paint your own kind of thing. It says LH are the initials on it. It's pretty.
milk glass. I can't remember what's been here. I haven't been here in several weeks, so I don't recall what was here the last time I came. Pretty dish. 1977. And this is Darling. <laughs> Happy little guy. Can't read what that says. Designs collection? That is adorable. Okay, it just came to the next aisle and spotted this, which is that artist that everybody loves, Hadley, but it has someone's name on it. But maybe there would be a... Do people still name their children David? I don't even know if that's like a common name right now. It's cute though, maybe I'll get it. It's only 69 cents. selection of angels, although I'm not sure I can beat the collection I bought at Goodwill a few weeks ago. Little duck is adorable. So this is like their baby gift area, I suppose. Nice when things are grouped. Oh, that's in good shape. Those are very delicate flowers and they are not chipped, that's impressive. Nice cross stitch piece. Oh, she's sweet. Not a certain month, but she's sweet. I like her. Oh, Kate's not with me. And I know she doesn't want mugs, but that's a cute one. Might be cute for the store. Oh, it's got some kind of defect that. It's like a discoloration. I try to only buy them for the shop if they're like in pristine condition. Oh, this is neat. Opal House. Let's start it. I like that. And I think I've escaped the mug aisle without finding one that I felt like I needed to buy. So yay for me. <laughs> this is the only piece of transferware I've found in an awfully long time. Made in England. It's three colors. I generally prefer single colors, but it's become extremely hard to find. I like that. 69 cents. Here are their teacups and little demi toss cups. These are adorable. Oh my goodness. I love these. I know where I can put these. I have a little cabinet with some red restaurant wear and red transfer wear. I don't even know that that's what these are, but they would totally match. And they're just tiny. And you know, my. I have a, propensity to like tiny things. <laughs> and here's a blue willow. Look at that. It's not great. Like, feels like the design is, oh yeah, the design is definitely, I think the design is messed up. But that's what that is. I am not going to get this one because I don't like how the design looks dropped to the bottom of the cup. You see what I'm talking about? So that one can stay behind. Oh, here's another one. I always like if I can get two, like then you can stack them and it looks nice in a display. 
Okay, so here's the teapots. Some of you like me to show the teapots. So here they are. This one's really pretty. Oh, it says as is. So it must be chipped or something. Really pretty on a shelf. And this one's kind of cute. Made in China. $3.99. There's some colored glass. I don't know a lot about it. Oh, I have a dish at the Pink Elephant that's green that looks like this. I had four. Someone bought three. I was like, really? You left me with one dish. Maybe I should buy that and stack it with it. <laughs> this is a pretty wreath for three. Really don't need another wreath, but it's pretty. And I actually kind of like this one. It's got peaches on it for summer. What's this? That's cute. Happiness is catching. Oh, happiness is catching. We get it from one another. That's cute. First I thought it was like an incomplete sentence. Like, happiness is catching a fish. <laughs> Then I realized what they were going for. <laughs> I always love this aisle because it's the creamer's aisle. That looks like a, I can't tell if it's ceramic or a piece of restaurant wear. It's cute, but it's not marked. So, what is this? I do not know. Hmm. Maybe it had a salt and pepper on it. And that was like the little dish that held the salt and pepper. That is very, very adorable for a, your Thanksgiving table. First thing you have to store it the whole year, but wow, that's really, really fun. These are fun for summer. Oh, they're apples. I thought they were berries. Just kidding. It would be more fun if they were berries. i put it over here. Oh, what's this? Looks like a saucer.
this set has been here, I believe, 28 for the set. I mean, it is four pieces with the lids. Not terrible, but people are buying canisters in a thrift store. It's probably a little high for them. from Michael's. So cute. I've been looking for some floral plates for my Easter table, but I kind of want more pastel colors. But those are pretty. I really just want to find like an old set of china that people don't want, um, you know, with pastel flowers on the rims, and then just use it for Easter and store it. Oh, oh, close. It's still a little too primary. It's pretty. Cool. A little summery, but that's closer. fondue set in the box. That's kind of fun. $2.99. I like it for the box. I'm going to pull it out and look at it. I always like to look at the wall art. And they have some, I don't have big walls, but um, they have some really nice prices like $19.99, $14.99, $9.99. I mean, even the frame is great for these prices. So that's nice because sometimes the artwork here could be a little high, but it seems like they uh, maybe have changed. Yeah, six ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine. That's great. I'm really happy to see that. Serene. That's gorgeous. We had a nice big wall for $25. I mean, that's just, we can't beat that price. Oh boy, he's still here. I think, I think this is the same one we saw a few weeks ago. <laughs> he's scary. I'm sorry. He really is. Is he? Oh, he's like rubber. He's not. So. Funny, funny, funny. I always like to look at the furniture, so that's what I'm kind of, that's where we're headed next. This is beautiful. I'm surprised it's been here that long. It's unusual. It has one drawer, but I like the wood grain down here. You can kind of see the lines. Really neat. Nice bookshelf. much for me today not that I'm looking for anything in particular but if there's like a really stunning piece I would consider it but these are all not quite what I'm not quite for me what's this I don't know what's that for butter something? 
Now we're getting into like their more collectibles area, their curated area. So that's probably what that's part of, which is why the price is higher. This is really pretty. If I had like a, like a, I don't know, another room with like a, that was more of a porch that I decorated more as a porch, I think this would be really pretty on it. Okay, this is really fun. $25, it's a collectible Red Wing Minnesota croc. Very, very fun. These are, so that was my ring, not him, don't worry. These are really cute. She is also really cute. I know not all of you will agree, but I like her. I don't know anything about them. I'm having trouble pointing. Oh, Don Quixote and Sancho Panza wood figures. Those are cool. Looks like someone's stamp collection. Very cool. And some Pyrex. 25 and 30. I don't know much about Pyrex. I don't do Pyrex. So I assume that's probably a good deal. Or at least a fair deal. These are cool. I like the way they feel. They're kind of heavy. I like the shape. It's kind of like 30s, 50s mod. <laughs> oh, hall pottery. <laughs> Fabulous box of old blocks for 30 bucks. Old washing machine. So fun. I love it. Push to release. <laughs> Maytag, love that. What's this? Plates? Is it just for plates? Maybe four little plates? I don't know. Let me know what you think. What is this for? Super cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. So it's like a little lunch tin. Ah, that's so cool. Seven is a little out of my budget, but I do really like it. And I'm sure it's worth that, but I can't spend it. Oh golly. Now, I like bunnies, but even I'm willing to say he's scary. <laughs> oh dear. What are these? Hand crafts. Oh, little bunny baskets. These are fun. Cute. Mm, I kind of like them. Do they all have two eyes? Yeah. That one's got like some, some crust on it. Flower have a giant hunk sticking out of it. Bummer. This looks like it's a small world at Disney. It's just called castle decor, but that's what that reminds me of. More of these little handmade things. I've not seen Ray Dunn like Easter theme, that's cute. I like that. He has lost his ears. If he had ears, I would bring him home. 
but he does not. Then one last little cabinet, beautiful. That might be Fitz and Floyd. I'm not sure, but kind of looks like it. Nice little sets of things. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head home and show you what I got. Hello, you all. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to Legacy Thrift. I'm going to share with you my thrift haul, but before I do that really quick, I wanted to ask that you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed. It's super encouraging to me as a content creator, helps my channel out, and I just really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Now let's get to my thrift haul. Always a good time when I go to Legacy. They always have great prices. It's one of the few places I can go and still know that I might find some things for under a dollar at a thrift store, which around here is really unheard of. And if you're not familiar, I am thrifting in the Minneapolis, St. Paul area of Minnesota, also known as the Twin Cities, also known as the Cities if you're from Minnesota. So that's where I do my thrifting. And yes, prices have definitely gone up around here. But Legacy Thrift is one of the few places you can go in if you just have a few bucks to buy a few things and you can actually buy a few things, which is great. So before we get on to my haul, I want to say happy March. You can kind of see, I think, yeah, you can see my calendar is changed. It is March. Um, we are having fabulous weather here in Minnesota. It was 60 degrees today and I got to sit out on my deck, which I absolutely love. I am not a winter girl, not a winter girl. I moved from New Jersey and I used to live on the coast of New Jersey. And so the weather was very temperate. We did not, we had winter, but not winter like they have winter here. Here they really have winter. And so, yeah, I don't miss it. <laughs> So when we have winters like this, where it's nice and warm some of the days, um, not that we haven't had any cold days, because we definitely have, but that we're having like a nice day, you know, here and there too, it's great. So, okay, so let's go ahead and get into my haul. I'm looking down because I have a few larger items. I think I want to show those to you first, kind of get them out of the way, and then we'll move on to the smaller things. I'm going to grab the largest item first. This was probably the best deal of the day. So it was $2.99 for the set. And first of all, I absolutely adore the box. I love that they kept it in its box. Like, bravo to whoever put this out. Because, you know, the box is not in great shape. But for a collector like me, like, I love to see the original packaging. So that was really fun. I'm not sure that this thing was ever used because it's in really good shape. It's like basically like a mirror. You can kind of see. Um, I'm trying to not show you all of my mess, but so that's the fondue pot with a nice wood handle. And then it comes with its little stand. It does not have a lid. It wasn't pictured with a lid, so I don't think it ever had a lid. And then it has its little sterno holder. Whoa, I don't want to break things, drop things. So you put your sterno like in here with the lid on and then that sits here. So it has all of its pieces and extra because also in the box was this set of fondue forks. And you can see the original picture that is kind of messed up on the box for the fondue pot actually is full here. I would think that that's probably, you think like late 60s or 70s? Like, I feel like the ladies look a little more modern than the men. I don't know. You tell me what you think. 60s, 70s, I don't really know. But yeah, so if you open this up, this is the original set of four color keyed for each guest. So everyone will get their own color. So no one's taking anyone's fork by accident. So those are those. But then in addition to the ones that came with the original... Hold on. It also has, if I can get at them, where are they? It also has these. Now, these I love. I've seen these go out the door at the Pink Elephant. The Pink Elephant is where I sell things. I think I mentioned that in the video, but in case I didn't. And I think these are great. So I just love them. I don't know. They, I think they even look fun, like displayed, you know. But I'm going to talk to my daughters. I think it would be really fun to do like a fondue night with them. Um, <clears throat> I should really get a glass of water. My mouth feels dry. Hold on one second. Okay. 
Okay, <clears throat> I got myself some water. Because it's been so warm, my allergies have been basically problematic the entire winter. Even though I'm on like medicine, it's not always helpful. Delightful. Okay, the other big thing that I wanna show you and get out of the way, I actually picked up three of these huge binders. And so these are called great gifts in under 30 minutes. Now my thought is that did these come as like a subscription maybe? Cause I know, sorry, I feel like I have water all over me. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had like animal cards that came like you would get a pack of them every month and there was a binder that you would put them in. Sorry, Penny, here's something that she feels concerned about. So I'm wondering if that's how this worked. Like, was it actually a subscription? Did any of you maybe subscribe and that you know about this? But I was flipping through and there's just such good ideas in here. So even if um, some of them are a little dated, I can update those ideas to 2024 and maybe, you know, show some of them on my YouTube channel or just do them in my decor. Like one of them that I thought was so cool is like, these are candles that they made, but they made them in eggshells. Like, I just think that's so cool. I never would think to do that. So yeah. So there's, there's just tons of really good inexpensive ideas. Cause sometimes on Pinterest, because of the way the Pinterest algorithm works, like you start to see the same thing. Like if there's something that you like and you look at one of those things, like you start to see more of the same thing over and over and then everything kind of starts looking the same. So at least in this, I can flip through and have different, you know, ideas um, coming to me. All right, let's move on. I will show you some things I got for the pink elephant where I resell. Um, I did get the little yellow bowl. I told you I have a green one like this. I had four, three of them got bought, but, um, yeah, maybe they'll both sell. I sell them for like $3. I mean, I'm not selling them for a lot, but, um, I thought this one was really a pretty color. It's that amber glass color and it does have some bubbles in the glass. So I'm pretty sure it's not like a repro or anything. Um, yeah. So just got that cause people like this color glass, especially like as we get on to summer and fall. And then, um, I did pick up the Hadley plate. Now, I did not know what M.A. Hadley was until one of you pointed out in one of my bin videos one time um, that I missed a Hadley piece. And I was like, who's Hadley? And so I started researching it. Now, I will tell you that this is not like, first of all, this says David. So, you know, it's not going to be applicable to a lot of people unless they I guess you could display it like this and it would be covered up. But um, to be honest, like it's not my favorite, like Hadley things are just not my favorite. I, I just feel like it's just not my favorite art. I don't, I don't love the look of it. It doesn't look, it looks like someone colored on it with a marker. And that's why I missed it that first time because I'm like, oh, it looks like someone went to like a pottery place and just colored on a piece of pottery with, you know, a marker and then glazed it and fired it up. So, <laughs> so no offense to anyone who collects M.A. Hadley. Um, yeah, it's just not my thing. So anyway, but I did pick it up because I know people like to buy it. So picked that piece up. Okay, and then I think everything else is for me. What do I want to show you first? Okay, so I, before this video, I went thrifting with my friend Kate. Those videos will be coming after this video because it just takes a little more to edit them because we went to a lot of stores and so there's a lot of hauls and I have to figure out what goes with what, yada, yada, yada. But in that haul, you will see I picked up another apple like this, although it has like a little gold leaf on it. Um, and I just think they're so cute. I don't know what this, the other one is made out of alabaster, I think is what it said on its sticker. This one is cold and really heavy. It almost feels like marble would be my, like if I had to say a guess, that's what I would guess. But I don't know if they make mar apples out of marble or if there's like red marble. I have no idea. So anyway, but it's really heavy and cold. And I just think it's really cute for like fall um, with the other one I got. And then if I could find like a yellow or a green one, I think that'd be adorable to have all these faux apples. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm a quirky gal. You know, I always say that. So I got that for myself. It was 69 cents. Okay. Then also for myself, I got this cute little trinket box. It's a bunny. It was $1.59. And I just think he looks so happy laying in the flowers. I just really liked him. So uh, nothing else to say other than I just like them and it's an egg shape and it's a bunny. I mean, what more do you want, you know? Okay. And then these, I will show these to you in place. I got these to add to 
my ironstone collection so like i mentioned in the video i usually prefer single color iron ironstone transferware but i have not been able to find single colors and actually i haven't really found any ironstone in a very long time so i was happy to find these they were 69 cents each and when it's something like this i usually just display it like this um with my collection i could you can like take these all out of a collection and put them into a display if you wanted to um i don't have any plans to do that right now uh, but i will show you where these are going with my other iron stone okay you've seen this display before this is over where i display my iron stone you saw me add that in one of my more recent videos but here's where i put the two cups <gasps> i love them with a little doily tucked in and I already had this doily here, and then I tucked one in here. And so now I have three, and I think it looks adorable. So I already had like two stacked cups. Those are brown and white, but these, I actually like the color because it kind of, I don't know, it's like a fun little pop there on the shelf. So anywho, super happy with how those look. Yay. <laughs> bunch of hankies so I'm going to incorporate I feel like um yeah I don't know I just kind of want to there's a lot of pink here which I like but I I think for spring I kind of wanted to incorporate some more colors so this one has I don't know if it's coming off pink or purple I can't tell but it's purple um so I thought I would put that one up there and then this one is like oh I do have a yellow one I didn't realize I have a yellow one so I may or may not yeah I might not put that one out. Uh, but this one is a pretty green edge, which I thought was lovely. Like, I just thought some of them were just different, you know. And then this one, it has an L. I love when they have initials on them. I just think they're so cute. So that's pink and pink. Wow. Purple and yellow. I thought that was really cute. And then here's a pink and yellow one. Oh, it has a flower. Ah. So the um, hanky itself has like a white flower on it. And then there's a, the edging, the crocheted edging, which I think is really cute. Uh-oh, something setting off the dogs. So yeah, those um, were very inexpensive um, and I just love them. And I'm super happy to have them in my collection. So I'll, my plan for those is just to switch out some of the ones I have. And actually I'm seeing, I do at least have one empty space. Maybe I will use the yellow one up there. There's just a lot of white, you know, so I thought well, incorporate a little more color. Why not? Okay, and then the last thing I got, and these I will also show you in place, I knew as soon as I saw them where I wanted to put them, I just have a little cabinet. I did it as a DIY, and I painted it, and I have, because I don't have a lot of red and white, and I don't buy a lot of red and white, but I have a few pieces that I love, and so these are going to go in, either in the cabinet or on the little shelves on the cabinet. We'll see. I will insert footage and show you where I wound up putting these, but they were 69 cents a piece. They're like little demi toss cups, I guess, um, for like espresso, maybe. I don't know. Um, they're really tiny. Um, and this one has like Asian motifs on it. I don't know if you can kind of see that, like, yeah. Um, and then this one is like an English countryside, um, and neither one is marked. So, and this one's cool. Cause look at the handle. So I just thought they were great. Here is my little cabinet that I was telling you about. So um, these are just, oh, I just love all these things, all these things. Um, yeah. So it's a mixture of like transfer wear and restaurant wear, but they all have that same color, you know, combo. There's some cute spice jars here that I just think are cute, um, but I have nowhere to put in my kitchen. So they're just there. And then some of my little chickens but here is where I put the two little cups so and I love this because I can face them out and you can see the handles on them which I didn't notice when I was showing you but that one has a really cute handle too so I actually face them out because the handles are like so cool and different and then tucked a little doily here and just set this one with this salt and pepper that has a little boxwood in it um yeah so this, if you're not sure where we are, this is the, that's the kitchen, dining, and then this is just in the family room. This is an old thermostat. It used to run the fireplace, but it doesn't work anymore, and so it just looks 
kind of ugly with my display, but you know, whatever. What can you do? Someday I'll get it taken out. But anyway, that's my little cups. Love them. I never find red and white anymore. Like, again, it's just these things have gotten really popular, I think. So I just don't find them anymore. So, okay. Okay. So that is all that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found at Legacy Thrift. And um, my next video, it will be on, I'm shooting for Sundays. I've been missing Sundays. Hopefully that you'll see this one on a Sunday. I've been having some technology issues. Um, so hopefully the next one will hit on a Sunday. Um, Sunday night. That's, I'm hoping that will be my regular time slot. Um, but anyway, the next two will be of my day thrifting with Kate. Um, that just takes a little more time to edit. So I wanted to get something to you this week. So this one, um, that this one will happen. And then those two will happen. In, but those two in real life actually happened before I went thrifting at Legacy. Anyway, if you watch all the videos, it matters. If you don't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So anyway, um, I hope you have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.